Freaking Sunday, everybody. Welcome to another park, this time in Yakima, Washington. And thanks to all you who sent me snaps, correcting me on the way I said it initially. In Yakima, Washington. Beautiful park, lots of wildlife. Had a lot of fun capturing the geese and the ducks. We're about 30 minutes from where we camped last night. And it's funny because I think parks are gonna become the new coffee shops of my pre-Annie vlogging days. It's nice to have the power inverter in the Jeep. Makes it really convenient to charge my laptop and everything so I can pretty much set up anywhere. There is a pavilion at this park, so I did check out the electricity there. I tried all the outlets on all four corners and none of them work. The power's off. So, I'm gonna set up here and do my editing. There's no picnic tables or anything close enough to hook up an extension cord. However, I have something better than a picnic table that I have not used yet and I'm really excited to use. Lin Pei actually gave me this. Yes, Lin Pei, who cuts my hair. I've been wanting to use it. I was just waiting for the right time. I had a feeling it'd come in handy sometime. So thank you, Lin Pei, for what I'm about to show you. Welcome to my mobile office. <laughs> so this will work out great. Anywhere I need to set up, golden. And check this out, best part, made in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. How cool is that? First off today is gonna be finishing up here, and once I'm done, second off, I think we're gonna hit the road again, just travel and be see some cool places, stop, and gonna start heading towards Classic and I, Oregon. However, we don't necessarily need to get there today. We're not in a brush or anything. So, we'll just take it easy and if we see somewhere cool, we'll stop. What's the matter, Annie? It's just a kid. It won't bite. Well, sometimes it might. Annie. It started raining out, so I had to move everything inside the Jeep. <laughs> Guess that's just part of the working out in a park situation. I am almost finished though, so it shouldn't be too bad. I've done it in the past where I just sit here and work, but eventually your neck just gets so kinked up and weird it just it's not worth it uh, I missed it it caught me off guard and I totally missed it but there's a guy parked next to me and all of a sudden he just lit up his wheels and just burnt out and took off and when he did he obviously woke up Annie and then also when I looked over a rat jumped out of his truck and took off into the grass like he freaked he freaked out everybody even a rat that was living in his truck apparently Oh, I wish I would have caught it on film though. It was so hilarious. It was amazing, honestly. The rat's just like, oh, I'm getting out of here. He took off into the grass. Oh, that was crazy. I'm all finished up. Annie's awake and we're ready to hit the road.
Grab the potty, Annie. Good girl. Just stopped to let Annie out to go to the bathroom. It's been raining out like crazy, so I'm keeping the camera underneath the hard top of the Jeep to keep it safe. Well, with the microphone on, I did let it out to get some shots. Anyways, the microphone's a little bit more touchy. I got a protective case on the camera. We are back on Highway 12. Just gonna keep following it and see where it takes us. But this area right here, this is absolutely gorgeous. The fall colors going on back here, it's so beautiful out here. It is awesome. Day number two with Annie is going great. She's such a good dog. She does whine a little bit when I get out of the Jeep to get shots or when I quick run into the gas station or whatever. So she's starting to get attached. She's starting to see me as the alpha male in the pack. <laughs> you good? Yeah? All right, I think Annie's good. Let's get back on the road. Sorry, Annie, did I wake you up? We're still out in the mountains, and it's still raining out. You probably hear it on the roof. But the weather was getting so bad with the rain and the mist and the fog and the lack of working windshield wipers. I didn't want to risk it, so I pulled over. We're just going to camp for the night. Found a little turnout area like I normally do on the side of the road. And this is home. All right, Wranglers, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us, and we'll see you tomorrow.